Hi, my name is Nikki Randolph, and I'm here with you today for the Queen Anne's County Veterans Update. Today I have Dennis Reed, the first Vice Commander from Jeff Davis Post 18 here in Centerville, and we're going to talk about their Wounded Veterans Waterfowl Weekend that happens every year in November. The dates this year are the November 14th through the 17th, and I believe, Dennis, this is your all sixth year that you've been doing this, or is it the seventh? It's our seventh year. The right? seventh year. Seventh Can year. you care to relate a little sure. bit about what the weekend's all about? Yeah, every uh, Veterans Day week, we bring over up to five new soldiers every year from uh, Walter Reed over in Bethesda, Maryland. And uh, we bring them over for uh, hunting, honor, and getting them away from the hospital uh, during their daily routine uh, and their uh, rehabilitation there. Mm -hmm. uh, on our first day this year, we have a lot planned. We have a very, very busy uh, four days this year. Our first day will be our meet and greets, and uh, we'll sit down, and one of the things that we give them will be a lifetime membership into the American Legion. That's awesome. And, uh, and that's, that's quite a huge expense, too, for these young, young gentlemen and, uh, and ladies. And we have had we have had ladies with us too. Well, that's good because I was going to say, what about the women <laughs> yeah, veterans there? Well, you know? yeah, yeah, yes. Well, we've had, as you've met, you know, some uh, very decorated ladies here. Yes. And uh, then uh, from there, we take them over to Schrader's, Kenny Schrader, who's been very generous with them, and we do 50 sporting clays, and then we'll do 30 have lunch, and then we'll do 30 release birds. Along with this, they get their first look and their first feel of the new shotgun that they will be receiving as their own to keep. That's awesome. Yes. So uh, that evening we'll be at uh, Symphony Village for dinner, a private party, uh, catered by Paul Gunther. Uh, and then we take them back to their guest housing. Now, one thing that we do, that some programs do, is we keep them in our, in our home, uh, put them up in our own homes. Mm -hmm. uh, the new guys always stay at my house and my neighbor's house. Uh, and then a nice thing about this is, since we started this seven years ago, we always have people returning from past years, past recipients. And every year we'll get between eight and ten come back in. They fly in from around the country for this event. They've had so much fun with it. Uh, the second day will be the day into the wild. And we take them out uh, for the wild birds. Uh, when you go to the wild and you're hunting, you never know what's going to happen. But uh, we've been very fortunate enough. We've had a uh, compound and trap, Maryland, that has opened up to us, which uh, is quite an amazing place. It's the stuff you see on TV. And then the return people will go down to uh, Robbins Marsh, which I'm one of the owners of. Uh, that evening, uh, for brunch that day, the VFW in Easton will host a brunch for us there, and they're very, very generous about that. And also, they'll be giving a uh, membership to the VFW there as well. Pretty cool. Uh, and that's Friday, and that evening, we'll be back at the post for dinner, which uh, Flossie will be making her famous crab cakes uh -huh. for, for very the good. soldier. Very good. Yeah. As well as uh, we'll be having uh, this year a little uh, special thing, uh, but we're going to have uh, some live entertainment in the. Uh, lounge area for okay. them. On uh, Saturday, we'll be taking them out, and this year is an unusual year because we're going to have geese come in. So they get to go out goose hunting this year. And the famous uh, call maker, Sean Mann, has joined us, and he's taken them down here to one of his Y River establishments and going to take all, all the veterans down there goose hunting. And wow. that should be really exciting. Uh, and then bring them back and give them some downtime because we run them pretty ragged by that. Sounds like it. Uh, then we have our banquet on Saturday evening. And uh, it's an honor banquet for these guys. Mm -hmm. And they'll be made honorary citizens of Centerville. And again, they'll be presented with quite a few gifts and certificates and what have you. Uh, it's uh, always a sold out banquet. As a matter of fact, it's sold out now. Wow. Uh, unfortunately, we only have room for 125 people but it doesn't take long. And uh, the dinner uh, we're very glad to have back will be catered uh, by the Marine Corps League that just does a phenomenal job. Oh, they certainly do. They certainly do. You've been there. And then on uh, Sunday morning uh, at the Post, uh, we'll be uh, having it for breakfast and then they'll be returning 
the, a lot of the new guys will be returning to the base and some of the returning soldiers and what have you, they'll still be around and what have you, they'll stay in for a little bit longer. But it's quite an exciting event for all of us. We're very, very proud it of it. Sounds like, it sounds like it's a very aggressive weekend as well. It is. Not much time for sleeping or anything, is there? Uh, yeah, we get some in. <laughs> but, you know, there's a lot of fun involved in it. It really is. Now, we've mentioned it a couple of times that this is the seventh year mm -hmm. that you guys have been doing this. What started it? How did you all get involved with this? What, what, what made you all of a sudden think, we need to do this? Well, as, as you well know, a lot of people sit and say, you know, we want to do something. What can we do? And people don't know what to do. Well, my neighbor had been to Walter Reed and he came back to me and he says, you wouldn't believe where I was at. And he says, it's, it's unbelievable. He says, we have to do something for these guys. What can we do? And I said, well, Joe, let's just take them down to our place. We'll take them hunting. And the lights came on. And I had been shooting over at Pintail Point and I had noticed a couple of amputees there, and I was watching and listening, and they were from Walter Reed, and they were over on a release ton, and it just set my head spinning. And we put it together, and the only thing that we couldn't come up with was how could we have a banquet to honor these guys? Well, I was a, become a new officer at the post, and I said, well, I'm gonna to go to the executive committee and ask them if we can do this wounded veteran thing. And they kind of looked at me like I was half crazy. And uh, they said, well, Dennis, how much do you think something like that would cost? And I said, well, I don't know. I figured we could do it for $10,000 by the time everything's said and done. And uh, I said, you know, we could really put a nice event off on that. And, of course, the, well, how are, you gonna ra how are we going to raise $10,000? We can't even raise $2,000 <laughs> for a parade. And as I told them, I said, we, uh, we're going to do things a lot differently than what you guys have been doing down here. And, Lord, behold, the first year, $25,000. Where there's a will, there is a way. Yeah, yeah. we're and very proud of that. You should be very proud of it because what you do, guys, are, is an excellent thing. And I don't think a lot of people understand when we talk about bringing in soldiers from Walter Reed, Bethesda. These are guys that have been severely wounded in Afghanistan, Iraq, uh, maybe even in the States during their training before yes. they go over to be deployed. These guys are suffering horrific wounds. They've lost arms. They've lost legs. Some have brain injuries. And... If you spend any time over at Walter Reed and see the rehabilitation process that these guys go through, it's excruciating just to watch for us as yes. being as if there's nothing, you know, and... As, as you know well, because, Nikki, you have a wonderful program, too. Oh, thank you. Uh, and Nikki does the uh, spring uh, trophy fishing. Uh, for the wounded veterans, and she does an excellent, excellent job at it. Well, I'm we're not very, here very talking proud. about me. We're here talking about your event. Yeah, but... Let it be known. There's also one other event down here, which we're all very proud of each other's event. We all support each other heavily. And that's in Salisbury, where they do their second deer hunt in right. the uh, early fall, which they just had. But no, one thing that, uh, that we try to do is we put the message out that they're not handicapped. You're handicapable. Exactly. And you can do anything that you did before, but we're just going to do it in a little different way. And we do. And uh, as you well know, I mean, we take people that was... I mean, severe, severe uh, uh, disabilities. And when you see them smiling again and putting their, it, it gets their mind off of, the, of what they're going through and their rehabilitation and what have you. And it teaches them they can do anything. It does, it does. And more importantly, it teaches our community that nothing has changed with these with no. these with these veterans no. and they, they are to, still they are still the same people they were before they got hurt and they don't want to be treated any different exactly they, they don't and they have to go through a, a series of all their doctors they have so many doctors and before they get released to go on these events or what have you they have to go through it and get signed off by right. all their doctors saying that they're you know able to come down and do this well dennis thank you guys in post 18 for what you guys do because it's a wonderful wonderful event i've been here every step of the way with you guys you have, uh, i you. always enjoy it and i do hope i have a ticket reserved hint 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 for the banquet <laughs> if not standing room only is okay <laughs> <laughs> we'll see what we can come up with because you're special <laughs> well we do appreciate everything that you guys do the vfw in easton the vfw in graysonville arcan island american legion post 278 in stevensville the Queenstown Post 276. 
we all work together to Absolutely. ensure that the wounded warriors or the wounded veterans out of Bethesda are treated the way they should be treated. And when we With do bring them out to respect. the when we do bring them out to the eastern shore, most of them want to end up moving here full time because of the hospitality of mm. Queen Anne's County veterans. Well said. Thank you, Dennis. Thank you. Again, this is Nikki Randolph with Queen Anne's County Veterans Update, and thank you for watching today.